Oh, what's up, everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and I'm back with another episode of Ask Brand Man, where every Wednesday I answer your questions from the comment section below. So keep them questions coming. It's the mat work. Now, today I want to do a special episode where I do a rapid fire answering to a few questions that I haven't gotten a chance to answer because I felt like I couldn't do a long enough video, but I do have an answer to it. So let's go ahead and get into this thing. All right, but number one, Lalasso says, is the 360 deal the same as a licensing deal? The answer in short, no. 360 deal is literally 360, right? Not only am I getting your music, right, and that recording, but you pop up and you appear at some concert, right, an award show, bow, tax, I get some of that money. You sell some merch, bow, tax, I get some of that money. You, like, I don't know, get on somebody's TV show, bow, tax. I get some of that money. You could drop a book, you drop a DVD, you drop a VHS tape, bow, bow, bow. I get some of that money. That is a 360 deal. I'm getting a cut from everywhere because I invested in you. That's how I'm looking at it, All right? I invested in you and anything that comes from you, my investment, I want a piece of that money. That's a 360 deal. As a matter of fact, one of the things that you can or will have to offer up a cut of if you had a 360 deal would be licensing. So you see that licensing is this one area where 360s cover a lot of areas. Licensing is, well, it's specific, right? So you have sync licensing. So that's your licensing something out oftentimes on TV, movies, things like that, right? But there's so many licensing licenses with your brand. You can license your brand out to create clothes with it, just like any kind of other entity like FUBU, right? Or, uh, or Supreme, right? Any of these just typical clothing brands that might either collaborate with somebody else, all right, or they might allow somebody else to put their name on other objects, all right? That's what a licensing deal looks like. It's, it's specific to, to certain areas where you can just say, hey, just my music, just my name, just my clothing, all right? 360 licensing, not the same thing, all right? Next, this guy essentially, when it comes down to it, man, that's a long question. Sina Maktarzada says, yo, do I absolutely need a logo for branding? When you go through all of this, he's basically saying, yo, some people that are big brands, most of them pretty much have their face, their, their profile. I don't see logos. Well, that's because the answer is no. You do not need a logo for branding. Right? I know a lot of people talk a lot about logos and things like that when they bring up the branding conversation, but most people you have to understand do not understand branding for real in depth. You'll see these, you need these three things, you need these four things, and most of it is visual and aesthetic based, Anybody who's simply talking about aesthetic or visuals based on branding, I guarantee you they do not understand branding. Logos are just a form of expressing, right, and distributing your brand, but it's absolutely positively not necessary. So that's it, all right? Now, this other guy, The Sun Collective 147 says, I'm a producer looking for a female singer to front to the front to to front the material all right so is it a good idea to get a manager to scout out one for me i'm not really hooked into that scene <laughs> you're not hooked into what scene bro the female singer scene um all right look you can get a manager for that if you just do not want to do the work any work in that category you want some female to magically appear at the door of your studio waiting to sing her jelly like we can we can get into that all right but I say, before you even think about a manager, why don't you just find female singers on Instagram, find female singers on TikTok, and DM them. You don't have to be into a scene, all right? Just find them. They're out there trying to find a producer to connect with. Just find them, bro. Like, put in that work. As a matter of fact, you're the best person because you know the type of artist you want to work with. So maybe you will find some girls that are doing covers of some similar artists that you kind of like want to get into that, uh, you want to get into that sphere in terms of the type of music you want to produce, find that voice that goes with your production, all right? And if you aren't picky, that just makes it even easier, all right? But you can find girls doing covers on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, girls doing their own original music on all those platforms. Do that, try DMing them first. But again, you know, a manager can help that process even more, or you can go completely lazy and let a manager do all the work for you. But you, there, there is no scene, you know what I'm saying? Like there's no scene where, where there's a collection of females just waiting to be picked uh, and, and produced with. All right, cool. 
Now, another person says, how can I work with one of you? Anthony, he's, a, he's referring to me or Corey. Well, obviously we have Contra Brand Agency. I'm only doing this because other people ask these questions as well. Uh, that same question a lot. Contrabrand.agency is that's just that simple. You'll find out everything you need to know when it comes to working with us from a services end. But I guarantee most people who are watching this video are not prepared to work with Contra Brand Agency. It's a little bit higher end. We're working with artists that have some serious budgets and labels, right? Now, if you don't have that, that's cool. Check us out at brandmannetwork.com. I am answering questions every day. Question after question after question. I'm, I'm talking to people. We have our entire team that are in there answering questions. We got, we got calls where you can get one-on-one -on -one access with us. Well, most of the time it's going to be group access with us, those live calls, but it's just as helpful because oftentimes there's not even enough people on there. So you'll still get one-on-one -on -one access. So check out brandmannetwork.com before you try to get into um, working with us and doing services for as an agency. Because I guarantee, even though you might not be prepared to work with us as an agency. The information you get from us in brandmannetwork.com will help you better pick an agency, find the right type of agency. As a matter of fact, people are already in there saying, yo, does this look like a good company? And then we'll analyze it and say, eh, nah, I wouldn't work with them if I was you. I, I will, yeah, I will work with them if I was you, all right? They look legit, all right? So get in that space. We'll help you one way or another, trust me. It's not, as a matter of fact, it's, it's so little money, in my opinion, look, just, just, just do it, right? It's, it's not even a risky decision. It's less than $20 right now, all right? Now, hmm, am I gonna do one more question? Nah, that's the rapid fire. We're gonna, that's the first rapid fire, and I might even answer them even faster if I do an episode like this in the future, but y'all let me know if y'all like it in this format. If so, y'all gotta keep them questions coming so I have enough questions to do it in that way. Other than that, appreciate y'all watching the episode again. Thank you for 100,000 subscribers yet again. I'm going to be saying that all month as we continue to celebrate this 100,000 subscribers. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. Have a great one. Bow.